And we're back on the Brainer Dispatch Sports Wrap with Rad and Hop, sponsored by none other than Shannon's Auto Body. Shannon's Auto Body, and it's an exciting week for well, hold Warriors on, Hold sports. on, you got an award. Holy cow, Conrad, and we got Coach Rusk with us. We're giving him a whoa, round whoa, of whoa. applause. I did get the award. We got the award. Come on, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. My name is not on that. You My... still, we. I mean, it was still... Oh, I, oh you're, you're, you're in all the videos. We were. know, Conrad. Obviously, on the application, you didn't put my name with you because I'm not an employee. But serious, all things aside, congratulations on your big award. This could are be you your moment. Say what the award is, or are you just gonna, you know, social media participant of the year? Yes, social social media use. Yes, way to go for a yes. small time. For oh. our for our videos for our oh, videos oh. before football but who gave games. us the award? I mean, you the, the award the Minnesota the Minnesota uh, Newspapers Association at their awards. So last this was week. for all the pregame football that we yeah did. I submitted it and they really they the comment I got was it was trendy it was trendy, trendy. Well, we'll have to keep that trend rolling oh are we, you gonna mention that the dispatch also won a pretty big award they won the Vance award that's the, like the, the Stanley Trophy. Cup of the Vance Trophy best. You, you, your podcast is on the best newspaper in the state. Our podcast, Conrad. Plus, yeah, hey, we all know you're the one. Hey, who drives hey we're going to move this forward now. The guest today, Coach Rusk, has been on the podcast the most of any Warrior coach I know. in the history of the podcast. Do you think he'll remember Sheck's name this time? I Charlie. think <laughs> Charlie. Yes, he remembers it. Coach. Love you, love you, Charlie. Coach, thanks for coming in. We wanted to bring you in after that first uh, playoff victory last night, a hard battle. You guys had almost 40 shots, and you got a goal. It was a dandy goal, but uh, congratulations and welcome back. Hey, thanks, fellas. Thanks. Always fun to be back here. Um, you guys do a great job. Congrats to you both of you, Con. Congrats to you, too. Congrats, Wade. Congrats to um, the dispatch. That's awesome news. You guys do a good job. Honestly, you guys do a great job. I look forward to getting that hard copy when it is out. And obviously, you do a good job. All right, enough pats copy. on the back. We got to get to the gist here. Well, no, I like the I like the pats on the One back. One thing oh, before we Pete move on. Sakes. I hear that you got the award for trending videos at football games. Yeah. Oh. Anywhere else? Did you do any videos anywhere else? I was at the game last school? night. I looked at him, and he didn't even come talk to me. I was thinking we'd do a video. Okay, you that's know, just something to keep in your true. mind, fellas. About you know, if you're gonna you're gonna support one one program, let's support them all. Let's oh, support them. Nice. All. Well, we we that was support a good them all. Pitch by Coach Russ. I we support them all. One. Let's believe. Hey, maybe me. we should uh, take the six hour trek up to Roseau Saturday and do one, Conrad. You in? I am not. Drive oh. yourself. I'm superstitious. You can't get on the bus. Okay, okay. Yeah, I already tried that trick. All right, back to the game. You had the crush in the house. Yeah. Um, no. It was 0-0 after the first period. You were out shooting them 14-5. to You had opportunities, but you could just tell it uh, It was going to be a nail-biter. I mean, that their goalie was playing solid, and you guys were rushing. And By the way, who's the shooting coach? Conrad Craigness. Well, we need. I need to have a con- discussion with him because it seemed like the shots— we're always going into the goalie. We got to get those things going into the net. Couldn't agree anymore. The guy wears his heart on his sleeve. We were just talking now, and uh, we're trying to put some plans together for the spring, trying to get some things for the summer going. Um, I love Coach Conrad. He uh, does a great job with our girls. His No, no one can match his uh, positive energy. Um, guy stays out. After every practice, we'll grab a few girls and say, let's go get better here. And, I mean, he works mainly with our forwards. He, he will tell you straight up, I am not a defensive guy. He's not a defensive guy. But um, really good add um, for, to our staff this year, and the girls have been really enjoying having him around. So No, it was it was a great um, all-out effort. I thought all your lines played well. The Lily DeRozier goal was, was pretty sweet. Glove side, upper shelf. We were right behind the, the net on that goal. Uh, it was it was a beauty. Pretty what, you sure you of, left after the second period, though. No, I moved spots. Hey, I moved spots. Plus, I had to go watch the girls' basketball at the end of that. Conrad, multi-dimensional, and we got things going on. Yeah, it's a busy time for you guys. I do get that. I do understand that. Okay, um, it's a busy time for me. I don't know what Wade's been doing the last six weeks. Well, well, I do know that. One, he's been at our games. Oh. And so that is nice to see Wade yeah. over in the building. See that, Conrad? Um, but no, like back to Big Lily, you know, she had a huge goal. And like I said to Conrad last night after the game, I mean, she's been working extremely hard the last few weeks. And I know mentally it can be tough when you go in and out of a lineup. And Lily came to me about two weeks ago, just wanting to know what she has to do to get better. And you got to like that. Absolutely. And mm-hmm. and that's why I really enjoy coaching Lily. And, um, 
we talked to her about what you got to do. And she was on, this is what I wanted to bring up. Um, we had a Saturday morning practice the other day at 8 a.m. in Little Falls because we could not get ice at our own facility um, at 8 a.m. due to some squirt games going on, which is understandable. Yep. So we were there at 8 a.m. I get there at 7.15 a.m. And I can hear skates sliding across the ice. And Lily DeRozier is the only girl out there at 7.15, 45 minutes before practice, doing a cone drill, skating drill. Not shooting pucks, not like doing the fun stuff, but doing the hard work and working on what she needs to work on. That's, and it's just awesome to see her get that goal done. What a great game. story. I mean, the the emotion when she scored that and to watch, I mean, just gave yeah. you goosebumps and the whole bench erupted. Not that they went for anybody, but it Correct. just seemed like for her, you know, she's... You know, I did my best... My my best in parade, uh, in how do you say that? In per, uh, la, 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 Conrad, la, help la, him out. Impersonation. In, impersonation, impersonation of Lily today, and I could not match it. I could not <laughs> match it. She was phenomenal with that celebration, and I think it does. It, it, you know, you talk about it in girls' high school hockey. It's one thing I've noticed. I think you should celebrate every goal, no matter what practice or in the game. I just is who I was, and so um, in girls' hockey, I always love to see a girl, whether it's you know, against us or for yeah. us to give a good celebration. That's what you do. You work hard. You just got rewarded. Go celebrate. Have some See, fun. See, Conrad, celebrate. Like, with you win your award here, celebrate. You want to have a parade around town. Oh, yeah. You're going to end it downtown at Shep's. I mean, you want to celebrate. Good for you, Conrad. Yeah, we got to so get, get the fire We get the fire department on board. Um, the one thing we just don't, you know, celebration's great. We don't throw the sticks in the stands, though, or anything like that. We like to keep it pretty right there. On All the, right, so humble. it was a typical business-like win. Sure. Now yeah. we have... We had today, which it'll be tomorrow. We have Thursday, Friday, yeah. and then we have the showdown. On the other side, which I told you who was going to win, Bemidji was the hottest team in the section. Bemidji beat Alex, and they're going to go up to Moorhead. And then we have, obviously, the Rams from Roseau. So what 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 do we got going on, Coach? What are your thoughts right now, these final four in this big section? One. Right off the bat, um, Bemidji's playing good hockey, and I will tip my cap to the Lumberjacks, but we beat them during the regular season, so that's something that we have for us. I would say Bemidji's playing good hockey. Um, Moorhead had a really good first game versus Buffalo. Unfortunately, for Buffalo, it was 10-0 there in that quarterfinal for Buff. Um, yeah, you know, Bemidji's going to give Moorhead a good game. Moorhead doesn't see him coming. And that's what I, you know, today we talked with their staff, Coach Hirsch right away, just said, I hope... Moorhead squeezes their sticks versus Bemidji. And I said, that would be great. You would love to see that. Now, um, well, let's let's get down to the nuts and bolts here. Roseau Ram Saturday. Let's yeah, why are we previewing why the are we, come on. Lumberjack No one game. cares about anything about what's in front of the Warriors this Saturday, Coach. Let's go right now. I think Brainerd has played the Roseau Rams. Let's talk about that game. Well, I was just trying to break down the first quarterfinals for you guys. People don't care about that. Let's get to the gist. Well, okay, the gist is Rams are going to be fast. They can stretch the puck out very well. It stretch the ice out, I should say, very well. As in, you know, they could be two zones away. They don't listen to this, so we can be, we can, you know, share secrets. I don't think they have podcasts in Roseau. No. No? Okay. Well, I would just say that the Rosos will will be fast. Um, We have to do a good job of gapping up. Our D need to make sure that they're following up the play and not sagging back. You know, when we sag back, that's when the transition happens, and our gap is going to be way too big and Rosos too skilled. They're going to take advantage of that gap, and they're going to get pucks to the net. Um, Not a very big team, very fast, very smart team. Like I said, and they can stretch the ice out very well. So, so we, we played sure. them twice this year. Yep, first How'd game went terrible. First game we went up to Roseau, got ran out of the building six to one. Um, we were changing lines every other shift in the third just to see if we can get something going. Um, it might have been six two up there, I think. And then yeah, I think we scored two in the third. So we actually okay. would say technically, if you want to say it, our girls, we needed to win the third. They won the third, but overall, come terrible. Roseau comes to us next time around. We give them a little bit better game, 1-1, one, one, just totally lax on a face-off play, um, and we get beat in overtime. And back to the celebration, that girl went on one leg all the way down in front of both benches. You know, that girl wore her heart on her sleeve, and she battles. She oh, I would have jumped off the bench and just <laughs> well, ran into her. times are different, Wado. Okay, and sorry, sorry. I know, back I agree with you. I agree back with the bus you. up. Okay, but she can celebrate. going up to Rosa, I okay, like Okay, let's go. What I do we like got? Us. I like What us. time's the game at? 6 2, 3. What? Oh, I know. I Wait a minute. That's we're on the border of Canada here. 
I don't know how they operate up there. Okay, I well, I can, I'm an outsider. I'm not part of any. Yeah. But come on, people. It's in Roseau. Your girls aren't going to get home till 3 in the morning. How is that okay for high school? But anyways, who cares? We will be coming home 3 in the morning with smiles on yeah, our Let's face. go. We're going to go punch him in the face. I know Jack Freeman, our AD, did his part and tried to get us That's, a better time. Yeah, I'm and, not blaming anybody, and, but you know what? You can't be on the end of the armpit of Minnesota. His name's John Jack on this program. Yeah, we refer to him as John Jack. John Jack. We're going to bring him on. That'll be one of the questions I bring up, scheduling for sections. <laughs> Especially yeah. when they're six yeah, hours no, away. No, it's just an interesting. I'm pretty sure he doesn't but, have any say, but. Oh, I know that. But he's still our AD. Okay, he okay. has to answer questions we ask because we like him. And Jack and I had a conversation late last night after the game, and Jack said, I've done my job as best as I can, Tate. Unfortunately, they're. All right, all right. Oh, anyways, deep on anyways the showdown's at six. Can we watch it anywhere? Do you know? You can. You can watch it. It's going to be um, on live stream. Um, AD Freeman sent out a playoff. Um, Link, if you yeah. would want to call it that, I'll um, find it. I know where to find that. You can take a look at that, and um, you'll be—I believe you'll have access to all those playoff games and all those semifinals. Okay, so what does Saturday look like? Give us a rundown here. Semifinals, going to the Rams. We're going to the Rams, and rumor has it we're at the Memorial Arena. We're not. What at does the, that mean? We're not at the ladies' home rink. There. What? Neutral well, site? I called Jack today. I did not get an answer back. It's at the boys' rink at Memorial, and I like the Memorial Arena. I don't know what it is, but we really haven't had much success in the women's <laughs> arena over there. It's a nice arena. Do not hey, get the wrong. pass is nothing. We're looking right now, coach. This is it. This is our time. I think you, you know, you have a third seed like we did two years ago. Here we are. I have vibes similar to that team t- from two years ago. This team's not going to wow you with, you know, skill set, but we will have more heart and we will compete on Absolutely. Saturday. So 8 o'clock you guys leave, noon you leave. What what's what time you guys leave? I think we're looking at loading the bus up around noon and getting out of here and getting up there. The girls will definitely have something, either maybe a quick little stretch before we hit the road or we'll, uh, we'll stop halfway up, maybe over in Black Duck. Grab oh, a yeah, couple. right by the big Black Duck, yeah, Conrad. You know, the Drakes. Yep, you yeah. Know, get some jerky or something and let the girls get out, get a little walk, and then continue our route up to Roseau country there. Wow, this is going to be exciting. You got your speech plan, Coach, how you get them fired up, or does that just come naturally? Do you pick one out of, like, you know, the <laughs> The path? trek to the X continues in There we Roseau. go. Yeah. Upset that's... City, let's break in hearts. Let's go. Sure. No, as far as speeches, you know, that's something I think head coaches really, you know, might it's spend overrated. A lot of time on overrated. It. Some coaches are just naturally gifted with that. You know, a couple of years ago, I used to just write down some notes, um, and that's how I kind of ran my script there before a game. But now I've totally just come in there and yeah, we wing it. And, I've heard uh, Ron like Stolsky it, but... was really good at the pregame speech. Oh, probably. I mean, he's probably done a ton of them. I mean, always coached 55 years, so I've yeah. seen him break chalkboards with his fists. I've seen him turn out the light and really talk like. You know, higher power. I mean, I've seen it all. Uh, t- but here's the thing. I don't know if Ron needs to come in and do a speech so up in rows. I think we could handle it, though. No, I think, I think you right. got this, Coach. I, I think you're good. Yeah, I coach, think you're good. I think, you I think you're this. all right. Your assistant coaches, I mean, you guys are focused. I, I'm really excited for you guys to punch him right in the nose. Yeah. Boom! Right there. I mean, um, yeah, back to our coaches, too. They're good, experienced coaches. They've been here. Ernster has been here. Tony Kuchar has been here. Kuch. Um, Alex Hirsch has been here. So are we you know. changing lines, shorten things up? What's the strategy here? No. Connor, when I say shorten things up, that means we only play a couple lines versus. We don't. We don't want to give away game plans here. No, but, uh, I know, I know. But I just like to get into Coach Russ's mind. He's always it's it's moving parts. I you think uh, I want I wanted to ask that like yeah. uh, the the overtime. Obviously, it was only a couple weeks ago. Um, that but that has to give you a little confidence going into Rozo, knowing yeah. that you can hang around with them. Oh yeah, absolutely, and you know, not even hang around with them. Like we were competing with them. Yeah, and Conrad, we, were, we weren't just a squirrel hanging and trying to find a nut. We were pounding them punch for punch. And that's where I just, you know, that one stunk, you know what I mean? Like, it was a bad breakdown on a on a D, on an ozone draw. We were in our ozone ready to score, and we just had a terrible breakdown. And um, like I said, like I get smart team, fast team, stretch the well, ice. Out let's make good did. decisions, stay out of the penalty box, capitalize on on yep. quality moments, and, and then let's go, Conrad. That's what I got for him, Coach. I'm fired up for you. Yeah, else, I, I'll say that last night the offense looked – better than I like I've been to quite a few girls hockey games and the offense looked pretty good you had that power play in the first period where that puck was buzzing you had a pretty good you had a few other chances and uh yeah it's been it's been good 
Yeah, no, I would say our power play unit is something that's been in the basement all year and something that we've been trying to stress with our girls to keep it more simple and just you got to make passes. And Coach Kucher is a phenomenal head to have in our locker Coo- room. And Cooch. Cooch will get that power play. He'll challenge that power play. He will. He will tell those girls that that's not good enough, and that's what they need to hear. You know what I mean? And our girls respond in the right way. And I will say, other than not scoring, Conrad, we did have some good puck movement. We had good puck movement on the power play. I kept giving our girls confidence, and you could tell they were they were you know having confidence too. Well, here's the you just didn't go here's in, the deal, but. Coach. After you win Saturday, you're coming back on Wednesday. We're not changing anything. This podcast is going to ride. Well, I think Wednesday is the state is the section final, so I don't know if that'll work. Well, then we'll do Tuesday night. Yeah, we do Tuesday. I or, thought the section final is Thursday. No, no, it's no, no, Wednesday. No. I can take some time. Come in. It's on a Wednesday. Wednesday. All right. Yeah. 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 All right, let's just plan for it, Coach. That's That's not happening. Why? Why? Where are you going to be? Because I will have to go to the section final. No, we'll do it in the morning or something. After you wake up, what time you get up? 11? Yeah, I'm not getting up early. 11, you do. 11? I'll buy lunch that day for all three of us. Let's do it Tuesday if that happens. No, Tuesday is a prep day. We'll be getting ready to go. We're doing it Wednesday morning. Conrad. Be part of something bigger ever, than yourself. Have you guys ever brought a player in here yet? No, no we, we have not. We've had great conversations about it. In fact, I've thought about it. Players. I will say, I, I think if you guys wanted to bring on one of our girl players, um, to pen, well, I meant just to say, one. Of, I was going to say hockey players, but I was just going to say one of our girl players. If you were looking at, you know, depending on what kind of uh, give and take, I would bring in this booth. I'd probably bring in, you know, Brianna Finnegan and Erica Folden, you know, two. Well, I got to be honest with you, coach. Are, uh, fun to have in the locker room or fun to have conversations. Some two hall, different people very much. Some hall. Would you let him Stonewall, finish? My goodness. The Stonewall of Brainerd. T- got my got my cell and, and said, do you ever have on the podcast uh, players? Yeah. Wow. And, you know, although I gave it to Big Red Erica there, she's she's very, very mature. Um, she gave a speech her eighth grade year that almost moved me to tears. I Jack and I were just in in awe when she took the – she just said, I would like to have some time for a speech at the end of your banquet. Well, there's, there's a there's, – there's a, there's a, there's an a eighth boy. grader, wow. And that's what I that's said bold. to Jack. I said, you, we have an eighth grader that's coming out to give a speech in her first year at high school hockey, and she blew the whole – we were at the Forest Food Cafeteria. She blew everyone away. And Not a was, dry eye in that. Oh, banquet. very inspirational, very like heartfelt, and she just like she's a textbook definition of a warrior. Genuine, I mean, just a absolutely. Pure, all right, like, all mean, right. We'll, we'll put her on the list of potential. Finnegan also last night big block. Oh, big fin, block. Finney, Finney's playing well right now. I mean, she we our coaching staff said right, she's playing with a lot of confidence. She's getting her feet involved. Um, she had a big power play goal in St. Cloud before playoffs that went, you know, top shelf. And I think she's it's changing her game right now. Well, and we're happy to see it. You know, talking about players we really haven't talked about much, but another player I thought played well for me, and you can disagree with me, Coach, but yeah. seeing a few of your games, I thought Bailiff brought some brought some energy, huh. you know, in front of the net. I mean, she seemed pretty physical, too. Bodies falling right off of her. I mean, like, boom, boom, boom. And, you know, is that, I mean... That was good to see. If she can bring that Saturday. Uh, yeah. Bailiff came out of the locker room after the warm-ups, and she had a look on her face that I have never seen before. I love it. That I had to go tell her coaches, I said, you watch Christy in the beginning of this game, and I think she's going to do something. And I don't think Christy got bumped off a puck once. I don't think she hit the ice once. Um, there was a play there where one girl bounced off her. Yes. I, that's the exact same play. And I was just like, I wouldn't even want to get near Christy right now because she is she's on another level. And, yeah. You know, and she's been upping her game and she's been doing a great job of raising her game since she came to us two years ago. Um, she's matured up, she's smartened up, and she's just working right now. She well, doesn't care who she's with. Perfect timing, end of the year. Let's go. I'm we're excited for you, Coach. Conrad, you got anything else? We got to get him out of here. He's gonna go watch some more film tonight. I'm gonna go over and check on him. He is my neighbor. You know, I got him covered. If it snows, I, I shovel for him. So no, he's busy right and, now. And just real quick, um, Wade, it's good to see you out without the cast, the sling on, sir. Two more weeks. Let's and go. I hopefully can get back. Hopefully, yeah. yeah hopefully. It's been tough. I'm Whatever. Sure. Yeah, I know. Just Milking that thing for... We haven't had any Conrad, show. back off. Con. Did you see? Look at his shirt. I'm trying to help him iron, and look at it. It's all wrinkled. I mean, Wade, when you work... As hard as this man, and take as many football trending videos. Oh as this my God! Man. Yes, and his followers, thousands. Hey, last time. Where are you at on the followers? Yeah, how many tweeters you got? I got over a thousand. 
Whoa! How many you got? Ooh, I don't know. I don't even think I pay attention. To I that. don't even Let have. Let me any. check. Let I me check. Live update right now. Account. I know you and I are. Yeah. Friends. I got one point one k. Wow. Are you blue? Are you the blue check? Mark no, I don't there? pay for the blue. You're you're almost an influencer. You are. You and Swifty. Eh, I don't think I I'm do quite. I do have one question, fellas. What was okay. the total game count on the dispatch at women's hockey games this year? Over under. What was the count <laughs> on games the Brainerd Dispatch was at the girls' hockey game? I'm saying the over under because there's probably 13 home games. I'm saying the over under we was five, six. Oh, he's taking the over. Okay, I think, I think that's I don't. I, Bill Sap. Bill Sap went to the first one because I was at uh, Sap gave me one interview. Um, where was I? State uh, volleyball. This is good for you, Tate, to put a and then I right I because I go to the rest because Jeremy doesn't really like hockey. Oh, so I, I went crazy. to. Uh, so Jeremy doesn't really like hockey, huh? You're just gonna speak for him on that one. I wow. went to. Uh, I think Jeremy likes hockey. He does great playoff interviews. game. I did mm-hmm. the uh, Roso game, the overtime game. Yeah, is that Moorhead? Yeah. Um, great job. The that's, last two that's, games you were at. I want if you want help on those trending videos, let me know. I can get you in touch with some girls on our team. If you want to do a little trying free game. Oh, Alex. Hirsch is phenomenal. Hirsch does like she does way too much for our program. She's so great. Like she does the social media. Um, she does the pictures uploads. It's phenomenal what Coach Hirsch does. All right, Coach, Coach, we gotta I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to draw the line. Con, no, you've been doing a great job. Hey, we gotta draw the line here. I know we could do an hour of girls hockey and your program is getting the most energy from our podcast, and I apologize to everybody else. But again, we don't need to apologize. Good luck Saturday. Tate actually talks. Good luck Saturday. I feel the good vibes. I'm gonna watch Miracle Friday night, just cause. Well, it doesn't need to be a miracle. They'll just win. No, I just like that movie. It gives me good vibes about hockey. They, yeah, but no. you're implying that it's gonna be a miracle. No, it's, it's a sports wins. movie that motivates me. Come on, Conrad. I think the two picks right now for the bus ride up for movies we're gonna either do Young Blood with Rob Lowe or we're gonna oh, do Slapshot. Young Blood. I I no. haven't seen either. Hey, you that is a joke okay, for our audience. Come on. I will not be showing. The kids all movies. have their phones and everything's downloaded. You and- take phones. What? We don't we don't allow phones. So what is they the can't watch room. their they can't we don't watch allow a phones movie? on game days. What are they they have to sit and read books? No, I I mean I'll be Jesus, honest. They, the no, you talk you talk to your teammates. No, you don't. You Connors, focus. You play cribbage. Both of, there you go. That's what I, I did in, in college. Cribbage, six hours. It's not six. We played counting counting cows out the window. Hey, we played cribbage counting all the way to Moorhead. On the way up there, that's what it is. You ain't counting dogs. This poor bus ride up there last time was terrible. Okay. All right, um, we got to land this plane. Wrap it up, coach. What? Uh, the, wrap it up. What don't do you hit got? the table. No, it was good. I mean, the, this is good here, guys. I appreciate. It. I think we're becoming. You know, a lot of we're zipping this around here tonight. I think we need to have more of this. I think you guys are only going to go up with this podcast. Keep it up, thank Conrad, you, Conrad. Let me know if you need to borrow my iron. I can help you out. <laughs> All right. Okay. I appreciate you. Wade, and, I, and I got you covered Saturday if the snowstorm and, comes. Wade, I know you and I talked. I cannot help you dog wash over spring break. I'm sorry, man. I know. I got somebody. I, I got somebody. Probably All way right. more mature than me. Go Warriors, coach. We'll hey, be cheering for you. let's go you Warriors. I'm excited for our girls. I'm excited for us right now. All right. Program. Thanks, Tate. Thank you, guys. Yep. I appreciate you guys. That was a good conversation with Tate Rusk. I hope the gir- Warrior Girls nothing but the best could, as they you, go up to Rozo. Um, should be a good game. Uh, you could you could feel the energy. Yeah, we he's were excited. we were the fish. He always rocking. he always brings the energy though. Yeah, he Rusk, never... he's fun to have around. All right. Oh well. Hey, girls basketball quickly. I watched them last night. I know you thought I left early, but I went to my car to watch the rest of the girls game. They beat Fergus at Fergus. Two hour <laughs> ride and. to <laughs> Tomorrow, which will be today, they got to go to the University of Moorhead, play in that new stadium. So the 16 and four Warriors, wish them luck. Your boy Troy's got them playing well. But I think we should talk about boys basketball. Yeah, they only played one game though, but it was a record breaker. It was a record breaking game. Eli Holtz with 44 points broke the all time school record for points in a game. Congrats to him. Congrats to him. Shout out to Mr. Holtz and athlete of the week this week. Yes, he was. Uh, 44 points on 25 shots, so he was efficient. Even. That's pretty good. Rumor has it the guys were feeding him the ball. and Oh, yeah. And it was— You could uh, tell. Did you watch the game at yeah, all? Yeah. yeah, you could tell that they were feeding him. It was pretty him. exciting, you know, and, and Eli's a great kid, and he's been a part of some good Warrior teams the last few years, and it was kind of fun to see him, 
you know, get a record like that. And now he, he's it, he's got to have the record for assists. Now he had yes. 22 against Apollo earlier this year. And now he Do has you know 44. Where his, uh, career totals is he getting close to 900? He's getting close to a thousand okay. points. Yeah, okay. I know he need like before the forty four point game. I think he needed to get average about like seventeen, eighteen points a game. Okay, okay, it'll not be that, close. It'll be close. And not that that matters because this team, you know, I mean they're they're above five hundred now, coming down the home stretch. As long as they can play well at the end, it'll be. Hopefully, we'll have Coach Sheck sitting here the same situation as Coach Rusk. There we go. March Madness. Do you think Coach Sheck will bring the same amount of energy that Coach Rusk did? Um, I think the, the the personalities are a little different. Coach a little, Shaq a little provides different. a little golf calming effect, and just relax and just is very. He brings the he brings the Phil Jackson the yes, Zen the He's Zen the Zen I was the Zen, Zen master. All right, well we got a section champ too, girls and boys Nordic ski Conrad going to state next. I think it's next uh, Tuesday, February thirteenth. They go. I think uh, Alpine. It might be Tuesday and Nordics Wednesday. I could be wrong, though. I can't keep them straight. But um, shout out to them. That's awesome. Yep, Alpine girls go to state as well, so good for them. Um, boys hockey, they lost to Sartell and Rockridge, um, so that they're not going to be conference champs. They got a big game on Saturday against Bemidji, big section game. Yeah. And then uh, I was at their game last week, though, against Fergus. Were you? Yes, yes. Two players with hat tricks. Yep. That was pretty Stranger sick. And poop, right? Yep. That's awesome. Shout out to them. Now, Saturday, we got a boys' home game, correct? We got a boys' basketball and boys', boys hockey. hockey. Yes. Yep. So we got dual games, and we have the big Paul Bunyan youth tournament, 100 teams in town at Forest View, the high school, all that. So shout out to all those teams and families. And um, gymnastics, have they done anything recently? Nothing recently. They're preparing for Wrestling. Yeah. Kath, he keeps eluding us. Hosting us. us. He's ill, not going to make it. I think we just bring in Coach Brisk as assistant coach. There we go. Right from the Piers farmland. Coach right Brisk. from the Piers, yes. You just love bringing in all those football coaches. Well, they, they, hey, whatever, man. So what What else we got? I Dance? Dance is going to stay. Yeah, we cannot forget about that. No. And cheerleading's and at the National next week. Tourney. Yeah, I sent you a text on yeah, that. You you were that. very excited. Yeah. So. so shout out to them, Coach Carissa and company. Um, we got the Super Bowl Saturday. Sun, well, Sunday is usually the Super Bowl. I don't know. Oh, it's not yeah. usually Saturday. Sorry, my bad. But I'm making wings. Shocker, I know, Conrad. Shocker. Very. But you're full of energy today, Conrad. You got nothing. What do you mean? You're just over there. I'm an award-winning journalist now. Oh, my God. It's all going to my head. Oh, my God. I work for the best newspaper but in the least, state. But at least, look at your clothes. At least we can get them oh ironed. and gosh. They're all wrinkled, Conrad. That's what... Do um, you want to know who our special guest is going to be? Who's our special guest? Shout out. Who's going to come in, and we have to get it lined up. None other than Amy Aho. Oh, wow. She's a big fan. She is. Long time listener. Long time listener. But she's the big winner. She's so the big she's winner. So she's going to hear this, and then all of a sudden our phone's going to blow up and go, oh my gosh, I'm the winner. That's amazing. So we're I can't wait to have in. Amy in here. Yeah. Me and Amy, we, you know, we, we have some history together. We really? sat next to each other during a section final softball game when nice. she was coaching. Well, so. perfect. Well, it'll be great. We'll add her to the element, you know. Um, but here's the deal. We're going to have Coach Rusk in, and we might have to have two guests next week. We we can expand yeah, this thing. We'll see the award winning Conrad and Ha. We'll have to get the schedule worked out if they do win because I don't know when we're gonna be able to. Wednesday's not gonna work. So okay, all right. Well, appreciate you're just monotoning. I got nothing for you, Conrad. I I just know the Chiefs are gonna win the Super Bowl. Who do you got? Um. Yeah, I think I said the Chiefs last week too, and you said that I'm a Swifty. That's you are you a Swifty. Yes. Yes, you are a okay. Swifty. Yeah, but I'm I think the Chiefs it. are going to win, but I want the 49ers too. You got that? Why do you want the 49ers too? You just like San Fran? I like I like Shanahan and I like Purdy's story. It's kind of like a Disney movie. Mystery relevant to Super Bowl champ. Do you think uh, you know Jim Nance, he's full of his uh, clichés and and Is sayings. it Romo and Nance? Yeah, do you think he'll be I think he's pretty relevant One now. shining moment. <laughs> oh, that's the wrong one. That's that insane. is March Madness. Okay. All right. Well, we got to shut it down. Conrad's got to go. He's got a date. He's got to finish laundry. I got a date. What? Yeah, don't you? Uh, she backed out again? I think so. Oh, man. All right. All right. See you next week. Conrad, go water! Thanks for